Hey, 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 good looking. You want to see what we have cooking today in my kitchen? Well, grab a hold of that vine, swing out of my kitchen, and let's get cooking. Good looking. Today, I'm going to sit there and do a Instant Pot weeknight warrior dish, and I'm going to sit there and cook up bougie, and I'm going to sit there and show you four different ways that we can eat bougie. So, Grab a hold of that vine and let's get started. Good looking. Okay, let's come down here to our Instant Pot and let's go ahead and remove our cover. I'm going to sit there and put one tablespoon of oil down inside and I'm going to hit the saute button. And I have one and a half pounds of lean ground beef. So I'm going to go ahead and we're going to sit there and just brown that up. All right, now let's just go ahead and break this all up in just little chunks. So it browns up a little bit faster for us. We're just getting it brown. We're giving it the color and a layer of flavor to savor. Okay, let's sit there and give this a good little stir. All right, I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to add some of my minced onion. I'll sit there and say I'm going to be adding about one teaspoon and also to that I'm going to be adding about half of a teaspoon of the dried minced garlic. Now this is optional you don't have to I just like layers of flavor. Let's go ahead and stir in the minced garlic and the minced onion and also to help brown up the rest of the ground beef that is in our Instapot. I am also going to add one teaspoon of the dried ground ginger stir that all in I'm also going to add three-fourths teaspoon of the crushed red pepper. I'm also going to add half a teaspoon of the black pepper. Stir that all in. Let's add the rest of the ingredients. One-third cup of packed brown sugar. One third cup soy sauce, one third cup water, one tablespoon sesame seed oil. Now let's give this all a good stir so we get all that brown sugar mixed all in. I'm going to grab one of my trivets after I remove the spoon here. Like I said, I'm gonna grab one of my trivets. We're just gonna sit there, go ahead, place that all the way down on the inside. I have a stainless steel bowl. I'm gonna go ahead and place that down on the inside. I'm using brown rice and I'm cooking up two cups of brown rice. We're going to put that inside of the stainless steel bowl we have here. And now I'm going to go ahead and add three and a half cups of water. One. Two. Three. 
three. And my half. And now I'm going to add a teaspoon of salt to my rice. Let's give my rice a quick little stir. And I already went down below and I turned off the sauteing feature. And we're going to take you down there in one second. Before we go down here and set the time and everything, we're going to make sure that we have the lid on in the lock position. We're going to make sure we have our seal closed. And now we're going to come down here to our manual button. And I'm going to increase the time to 15 minutes because I'm using the brown rice. And we're going to allow the pressure inside to build up just as it has. And we're going to allow the magic to happen in this little instant pot here. And then we're going to do a quick release. The pressure cooker has now sounded off. So what we're going to do, we're going to go up above and we're going to do a quick release. Now while it's still venting, I went down here and I pushed cancel to turn everything all off. Alright. Almost all the pressure is released and I should be able to open the lid up real soon. As you see, the seal is open. And as soon as it's all done, it's not quite done releasing, we'll be able to open the lid. And when we open the lid, we're going to open it away from ourselves so we do not get a steam burn. And there we were able to turn the lid and unlock it. Now, remove it. And remember, lift the lid away from you. And now I'm just going to grab a spoon. And I'm going to give my rice here all a good stir. I'm going to grab some hot pads. And we're going to go ahead and we're going to remove the bowl of rice. All right, I have my gloves on, so let's go ahead and remove our bowl of rice. I'm just going to allow it to sit there, and now we're going to sit there and remove the trivet. So I'm just going to sit there and quickly grab the spoon that I'm using to stir the rice. Remove our trivet. We're gonna give all oh, this a good stir. And now I'm gonna sit there and show you four different ways we can enjoy this hearty goodness. Okay, I have my plate right here. I'm gonna set it down. And now I'm going to grab a flour tortilla. Now, the first way I'm going to sit there and show you how to have this, I have the flour tortilla here, and we're just going to have a Korean taco. So go ahead, grab some of the ground beef, put it down the center of your flour tortilla as such. I just need just a tad more. Okay. Like we have here. Now let me reposition the camera. 
Now, let's go ahead, fold the bottom up. You're gonna wanna bring the one edge over, and we're just gonna sit there and roll all this up. And there you have a Korean taco. Now, the second way, I have a big old uh, thing of bib lettuce. I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to fold it in half. I'm going to set it down on my plate. Again, I'm going to come over here. We're going to grab some of the Baluji. And we're just going to sit there, create a lettuce wrap. And when you want to talk about low carb, you can't get any more low carb than a Baluji lettuce wrap. Now, the third way, I have myself a bowl here. You're going to go and get yourself some rice. And I like to make a little divot in the center just so it holds a little bit more of the Baluji. And now Come in here, get some of our Baluji, put it on top of the rice, and now we're creating a rice bowl. And don't forget, add some of them delicious juices as well. So there's the third way. The fourth way, I make like a stir fry with it, but I add the frozen broccoli florets. And now I'm just going to sit there and go ahead, add some of them to this, stir that all up. We're going to sit there and cook the broccoli florets just a little bit. So I'm coming back down here to the saute button and we're just turning it on just so we can get the broccoli florets tender crisp. And now let's go ahead and turn off our Instant Pot. I put some more brown rice down on my dish and now I'm just going to sit there and get some of the broccoli and the Baluji mixture and we're going to sit there and put it all on my plate. So I'll see you in one minute. And there you go. That's how easy it was to make our Instant Pot Baluji. And I showed you not one, not two, not three, but four different ways that you can go about making this and eating this one real simple, easy dish that we made in our Instant Pot. So now if you like this little Instant Pot weeknight warrior dish of mine, tune in next week and see what I'll have in store for y'all. Now. This is open to anyone else who, out there who might want to sit there and join in on the fun with the Instapots and be a little weeknight warrior yourself. So if you're interested, join us. The more the merrier. Until then, happy cooking, but better yet, happy eatings. Y'all come back now, you hear? That's all your fault. <laughs>